Hey everybody, welcome back. Get things set up real quick and we're start this stream. A couple issues with the stream last night. I think I got it figured out. First it was a little bit offset and uh, couldn't figure out how to change the actual main personal log in our live stream. So all right, so if we can kind of do this in a slightly quicker, timely manner than last night, but in an hour and a half going through, which will only take about 30 minutes. Of course, I tend to talk a lot. Anyway, so here we are, turn 35 going in. And, uh, like we did last time, we're just going to start with each division, work our way through them. I'm not going to hammer as much. Uh, what do we got going on here at Harwich? We got this fight for the ferry. I need to get them across. You can only move one hex at a time when moving on to the ferry, so that can be able to move there. These guys. Uh, just keep them there. Those guys are cut off. Probably going to lose them. Yeah, these guys are really, really freaking. Probably. Uh, two fresh companies as well. I'm hoping my cursor is more uh, where it's supposed to be this time. If you've even seen the cursor. But as I was going through reviewing the, the, the video last night, I realized where my cursor was pointing on my screen off to the right on what you guys were seeing, so hopefully. This time we won't have as much issues with it. Uh, uh, Bullshim Jaegers. Got some high fidelity. Uh oh. Oh, that's right. One of the guys from the 30th Infantry gets stuck over here. Get them back with the rest of the division. Early morning. Well, early to me. <laughs> 11 o'clock in the morning. I think fall has finally come. Uh, been getting down into the 40s at night. So. I think summer is officially over. Definitely have hit fall, which is good. I'm more a fan of fall than I am pretty much any of the other seasons. Mainly because that means Halloween's coming. I love Halloween. Actually, my favorite holiday. More so than Christmas. Yeah, I know. I'm weird. Basically, it's the only time of the year I can get the damn flavored. Yeah, you because know, you got the packages, you buy, they got the flavor tootsie rolls and vanilla and the lime and the cherry. I love those. You can only get those <laughs> during during the Halloween season. Yes, I know. It's a petty way to uh, enjoy for a reason for enjoying the holidays. Ugh, mommy, stop bombing me. The Luftwaffe is supposed to be taking care of them. Uh, ain't good. Oh, painfully slow movement speed, especially trying to get across bridges. It was lead off some fatigue. Or the quarters up a little bit more. Or motorcycle or uh, bicycle troops from <laughs> the 30th Infantry way back in the Alright, Falsham Yeagers are done. 
be. Okay, now I gotta kind of start thinking a little bit in advance because <clears throat> as soon as I clear Colchester, I need to get the other divisions across and start moving. But if we take a look at the road network, there's really <clears throat> two ways to go about it, and but this is the main uh, main way to get into the city right here. And if I'm gonna try to jam four divisions down that single uh, hex to get across the river, it's gonna go real. Start shifting the 30th or to the east or to the west because that's my plan for him anyways. Start getting these guys shifted. Managed to get these pioneers in here to last. Hopefully, <laughs> this assault's going to go bad. I need to open fire up. Try to prep them a little bit with the pack 36s. Not the best thing to be shooting about here, really, but hey, everything helps. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, the other reason I don't. My allergies. Yes, my allergies are affected year round. Plus, it doesn't help I was up on my folks' yet. Always. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Lost four men, inflicted some casualties, didn't disrupt them. Beating on that guy for a while. These guys are isolated. Ow! I hate when I do that. Right, clicking through the messages, but accidentally clicked to pull them off the assault, so now they don't have the movement point assault. Cancel that. So, the moral of the story is be a little bit patient, and don't try to click forward too much. Really, really. Pull them off the line. Yeah, eight man, man hundred and seventy. So yeah, we're whittling it down. Probably gonna be a couple three. <laughs> oh, oh god. Uh, let's get these away. They can kind of help attack. Rip up some more. Brits are peppering in with some artillery fire. Basically, all these follow up units from 30th Infantry Division pushing this way to get across the bridge here. So I can open up the road network for the follow on. Oh, because I hate playing traffic cop. And I seem to do that a lot. Do I still need the artillery? Artillery. I've got high fatigue. I just hit them. Shifted over it a little. Road networks are going to be clear.
All right. Uh, so basically, that would be the 30th infantry. And really, the rest of the divisions do anything. Glider. Just got to wait for Colchester to get cleared. So the pads are in reserve. Six Kaburgus Jaeger just sitting, chilling out. Tenth four unit. In the division. Fortunately, their motorcycle or no, bicycle. So they move a little bit further than foot troop. So yeah, I was going back and I was reading a little bit uh, in, about uh, the supply issues that the Germans would have had, and they said even with taking, I think it was Folkestone and Dover at maximum capacity, which uh, probably wouldn't have been for several days because the Brits would have started destroying the docks and offloading and unloading facilities. They would have only, it would have only provided 40% of the supplies needed uh, for the entire invasion. So, yeah. Can't run an invasion of only 40% of the supplies. So, again, it, the invasion could have never happened. I mean, even if it had happened, it would have failed miserably. But, like I said, nice, fun, hypothetical what if. And I love hypothetical what ifs. Alright, uh, this battalion up here is still sitting pretty, not doing much. Seem to kind of roll the flank. I want to get to those artillery guns. You notice those are coastal guns and rail guns, so I do definitely want. And yeah, these guys got 134 fatigue, but. 40 Panzer threes. I can't really not do anything with them right now, but getting them in that position at least, you know, isolate this unit. Well, isolate their retreat, and if he does retreat, that heck. Take these guys, move them up, up. As you see, I'm isolating these units, reducing their ability to, to retreat. And again, you really want to eliminate large numbers of patients. Cut them off and put them in those pockets. You just try to go head on at them. You're, uh, you're going to be there for a while. Yeah, so they pushed into there and that pushed them back into here. Now they really have no. Hopefully, they get some good rolls. Also, what you can do with disrupted units, is, even though you've got an assault queued. Oh, crap. I'm gonna... If I assault now, I'm going to take a massive muscle. Pull him back easy. Cancel the assault. And just soften these guys up and try to disrupt them. Maybe. Again, I'm not really looking to put casualties on them. I'm primarily looking to try to disrupt them. I mean, casualties are kind of but. Ah, there we go. And uh, they're pioneers, it can help with the development.
you know what? I got my ears. Too late now. If I'd have been smart and thinking about it, I would have used the artillery to stop these guys up before trying to assault them. But I am not a clever man. Much. Those guys bleed off fatigue. Gonna take that to take me a while to isolate. But the flame panzers, they do have a bit of a heart attack. Yeah, no, even the flame panzers. Gonna have to. No, we're just gonna have these guys sit. Halt. Uh, up. There, because I think my OCD likes me. Two units per back. up here. Those guys are a little Black Wagon is not going to go after that. I am. My air, my, my air mobile commandos, these guys got landed the first day. Here it is the fourth day and they're still trying. But, you know, they're down to 22. I mean, it's, it's, it's a battalion of infantry. It's they can assist the 30th. Alright, so that's done. So, next division. Okay, push you guys as far forward as we could. Try to get the board. Could be a very dangerous balls of water. I want to get to the Thames Estuary as quick as I can. Because if I can get to the Thames Estuary, it means I've kind of cut off this entire, isolated this entire part of the battlefield. I can't really, of course, especially with the rail line that's hard. Head over here. Sometimes I gotta really question pathing the uh, AI takes, which is why some. Basically, if I salt into here, they just back and I want guys. They're all disrupted. In the chat, nobody else. That's okay. I would be playing this anyway, so be no excuse for me to do this. The only difference is I have my commentary. With sister um, my wife had a couple of burgers last week process. those bleed off fatigue bleed off Bird. 
lead off fatigue. Those guys continue the advance. Those guys. Look how big. I should probably start moving forward. <sighs> probably shouldn't. Have. Basically, uh, that, that shading tells how far out their command range is, which is important. You're figuring out unit supply and, more importantly, their force build. I think I just heard the door knock. So yeah, I did hear the door. My wife got some flowers from for her surgery from, from the surgery. He was sent flowers because of her. Alright, so that's that division. Next one, yeah, I got friggin' armor. But those are fixes. Have much in the way. You know what? Try, let's try assaulting them. This is probably going to go very poorly. Ah, yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> Even just armed with machine guns, able to kill and destroy seven of them, disrupt them, and now there's under. Would I be willing to do that against you know, real tanks? Not the Mark Sixes? Well, probably not. Okay. Oh, you. Eh. I'm out of travel mode. 24 movement points. Are worth that movement. Hey Mark, glad you glad you were able to pop in, say hi real quick. Uh, we got five people watching. Come on, people, talk up, say something. Let me know you're here. I'm just kind of grumping at the system right now. Hundreds. Ah, keep them there. Really would have liked to have been to get these little, at least one more. Travel mode. Uh, 
see, started here, wanted to move over here, and yet this was the, the best path. That... Oh, so we got a bunch of units that showed up here. Turns. I am definitely right on my head. problem with forward units, they tend to always have the highest fatigue. Peel them. Pressure units. Flame and Panzer. Not a vehicle I'd ever really want. What's more terrifying than a flamethrower? A flamethrowing tank! Vision up. Yeah, these guys are making good time. They're moving three hexes a turn. Wow. Blitzkrieg warfare right here, dude. So in the two-hour period, they'd make three miles. Woohoo! This pace will be able to overrun Britain by 44. Hey, Mark. Glad you could make it. Yeah, I, I really enjoy the uh, the Tiller games. They're some of my favorites as well. I had to do a little bit of work to dig into them, but it was me. It was worth it because I do enjoy the game so much. Seven or eight of them. Uh, I need to pick up. I've got I've got a Napoleonic's one, Peninsula Campaign, and I need to get back into playing that. And I need to pick up a couple of the Civil War one. I want to pick up. Uh, Sherman's March to the City. I can't remember the title. Take that one. I think maybe one or two more of the other before we got it. I'll admit the World War One titles. Oh, crap. See, yep. New Maidstone was going to be heavily defended. Do it. What a, oh, shit. These are Aussies. Aussie New Zealanders. They're Anzac forces. And they got armor backup. All right. Here. Yeah, I think we're probably going to be spending the rest of the day just forming up. Got to get this guy across the bridge. Got to get. And what are we looking for? 43rd Infantry Division, Fresh Division, I've never seen. Flak wagons, keep them in the back. Uh, this looks like it. Linton, that's a good place for him. 7th Infantry Headquarters. I've pushed forward yet. Need to get some units over here to secure rivers right of flight. Wouldn't be a problem if these Canadians weren't here. Just a bit. Ew. Canadians just had to be right where I didn't want them. I always thought Canadians were so polite. It'd be an awful mean to me. Thanks Luftwaffe for keeping the RAF off my back. But again, plane traffic up. Higher division of single lane highway. At least they need a highway road. Paved roads and dirt roads. I think I've got anything. Yeah, Maidstone's gonna have But, did get across the river here. 
as long as I can keep myself on this, start pouring, you know, all these reserves, all these, the rest of the division, 12 miles in the rear, at least start flanking them and move some units here to pin the, pin the uh, uh, Anzac forces in place. Sometimes, yeah, see, I got to sometimes pull out because my columns are spread over half the friggin' countryside that make sure I get all my... Tunbridge Wells. Are you going to find northeast first or... I would say when he's doing his uh, Red Sox fight. Football playthroughs, maybe they'll get those get the middle. Doing a drive, a run play right at the inside run play. Oh. Base bomb with one or two. You know, okay. Who's that? First armored. Well, the headquarters for First Armored's here, and I know I ran, yeah, there's First Armored out here, West is 25, 30 kilometers, what is way out of room. Is that a travel mode? Shoot the headquarters a little bit. Panzer three. Yeah, there is a movement penalty when you move into an overstacked hex. So the Panzers had like 70 movement points moving into that hex, but like 60. Well, you also don't want to overstack your hexes to movement penalty. And I'm not being very economical with my movement because normally it's best. They say it's best, kind of like an advanced squad leader. You move one unit at a time, so you kind of reduce your. your... Because if you have an overstacked hex that's moving together, you're going to pay more movement penalty. But when you're only moving like one or two X's along the road anyways, really doesn't matter. So yeah, I am not being very economical with, that, with my movement. Mainly because to me it's just not Hitting me, even moved you. Huh? Right now, back there. Awesome. <laughs> Those guys. I haven't. Got, hopefully, Tunbridge Wells is good. There might be some units of the first armored. So yeah, now let's go down and deal with more Canadians. With the elements of the first Canadian. And it's kind of the computer's got them spread out because there's first Canadian units here over at the whale, the old whale. But there's also first Canadian way up here at Sutton Valence and Ulcro. I mean, that's easily 35 kilometers. You want to try to keep your divisions together. If they're going to be spread out, have them spread out to the rear, not spread out across a front. Sometimes I got to wonder what the AI is thinking. But yeah, he's definitely he definitely pulled a bunch of stuff back, kind of forming up of these guys here. Go into trouble for me, but at least these guys, hopefully, are going to flank. Steel pieces and 88s don't really do. A 47 millimeter anti tank guns don't do real good against infantry. So no real need for me to rush him up in those mortars. Keep 
pushing the mortars forward. We got the 38th Corps, and they've got some artilleries in support. Artillery. Big hundred fifty millimeter and fifty hundred and fifty millimeter OP. Uh check the chat real quick. You guys are flanking Canadians. Again, there's a part of me that's kind of wants to assault, but I know it'll just push him back and push him away from me. Definitely want to and units in behind them to flank them. Flank, envelop, cut off, eliminate. Eh, too corrupted you. Really high fatigue. I need to need to get some of my right, I don't have much in the way. Balls. Oh no, I can. Uh ooh, thanks here to play first uh I'm gonna do right uh, those tanks. Wasn't able to disrupt that. Wanted wanted to disrupt that other tank formation. All oh, elite these guys. That didn't happen. So. With those guys, good. We're just gonna position and the uh, and one Panzer Jaeger that's disrupted. He'll be from it. Um. All right, Valus. Looks like so. I've got that bridge across there. So travel mode. I'll dig in. Those guys are bleeding off. Big ah, Partisans popping up. Place again. Here, so we can fight them and keep them contained. Although I think if I assault them, though, these guys are just friendly. Partisan troops are still not. Been shooting at those partisan troops since last night. Game wise, a few times. And the partisans are not going anywhere. You can always tell the partisans are shooting because it's no automatic weapons fire. It's kind of like pop, pop of a couple of rifles. Sure. Probably are out of uh, firing. All right, let's make sure. Ooh, look at all this. The uh, British are starting to fall back. But they do. Your flank right there. Those guys outside Alpha. Oh, no phone number I don't recognize. Cold call. Head so I can get troop more troops. Oops. There we go. 
push them back. These guys are disrupting my pull them off the road a little bit. Start moving. Slightly better condition. And Do I want to overstack now? Those guys beat off some big. Those guys. Oh, can't move them. Let's move here and then there. Achieve the same thing. Disrupt it. Some air strikes. Let me throw a couple of strikes on some Yunka 87 Stutters. And the RAF is making its presence to the top of the airfield. There we go. And they shoot a plane down. Why don't they? commit any air up here right now. Ooh, but you know what I do want to do? Lucas are great at tank. Go ahead and hit the these first arm. Vision Hey, got one vehicle. Go ahead and hit him again. Uh, the anti-aircraft fire the both units to go up. Ah, there we go. Oh, it disrupted the unit that would already disrupt it. Normally, you can only assign two strikes to attack. So, so that really, I think, is pretty much it for for most of the most. Of the, look at our Chewy dialogue. Yeah, that's good. Target. Way up here, we're back up. Uh, the mortars, I could fire at that headquarters, but I'm in travel mode to reduce the effectiveness. Plus, I don't have a unit of formation adjacent to it, I'll reduce the effectiveness more. So, I'm not going to fire at it. I'm not going to gather airstrikes. What's the last thing we have to do? Oh, that's right. We started getting reinforcements. 29th motorized appeared. So, I guess I am going to be playing traffic director for a while still. The form up 29th to there. If I train. There. These were just the lead elements of the division, I'm sure. Much more of the division will be following next turn and in the following. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need these guys against those Canadians. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid of the Canadians. I'm very, very afraid of the Canadians. Uh, I've got some core units right here that came on. Armored cars. You earlier got some. Oh, look at those PZ 38s or PZ 2s. Wow, serious heavy firepower there. And here we have Ghost Deutschland Panzer. Hey. Northwind. 
for me. Orioling a day. Yes, I say whoops quite often. Ooh, motorcycle troops. Try to get as much of these guys off the beach as possible because I know I've got follow on here. Um, Alright, so that was reinforcement at the beginning of this turn. I believe that's everything for the turn. Go ahead and hit X. I'll let the computer do its thing. And like I said, I've got it set to fast because if I did, it would take me 20 minutes to go. I keep an eye on what the general flow, where it seems that the British are. Yeah, do I lose a lot of intel because it's flipping by so quick? Yeah, but again, I'm okay with that. My play style suits me just fine. Yeah, like they were. Yep, they're trying to reinforce that that flank at Middlestone. A lot of broken units down. Bastine. I had more units to be able to capitalize on it. Look, I'm going to have a fight going into Tunbridge as well. Chester. I just love how it bounces all over the place. I wish I knew what sequence the the AI actually did its turns. It'd be kind of because they don't do you know entire divisions at a time. They just like they bounce all over the place. I don't know if they try to do all movement effort, but it would be interesting to see how the AI actually does its. Not that I think it would help me in my gameplay. Does it take by a percentage of action points? It has 25% of action points for everybody, then 50% of the action points. Okay, reinforcements have arrived. Yay! Air units are available. We'll put that following you. Isolated. Who's isolated? Oh, yeah. See, I said I do watch it just get cut off. So, I'll try to do what I can to relieve them. Yeah, uh, isolated, low ammo. Their morale is tainted. Uh, let's see. Those guys up here at the Harwich Ferries, yeah. 11 out of 19 units out of command. Killing me. And a bunch of other stuff. So, got reinforcements. And just because I like to do reinforcements, get them out of the way. Them land. More of Gross Deutschland. Ooh. Four units have got lots of armor. Oh, those aren't core. That's an extra. That's another panther to me. I thought those were core elements. Those aren't core. That's third panther. See, again, the documentation I wish was a little bit better because I knew I was getting the 29th here and I knew I was getting the Gross Deutschland here, but I had no clue. I'm getting the third panzer. There's just nowhere in the documentation to say what my reinforcements are. Now, yeah, granted, I can go to the units to scheduled, but go down so far. So, okay, so I got a third panzer division. Yeah, I was only originally expecting the first Gross Deutschland was going to be my panzer division. But then I had the seventh show up in East Anglia, which was a surprise. And then. Now we've got the third Panzer showing up. Okay, okay. Breathing much easier. These guys, I think third Panzer is going to drive at Mayfield. Help engage the Canadians. Let's see, the 29th motorized. Wish they were mechanized. I think they will come up and hit Franfield and try to relieve some of the, try to, try to leave some of the positions. 
26. And then they'll push up through the wheel. Grossdeutschland. Grossdeutschland is going to be my mobile reason. Wherever I get the big breakthrough, try to go for London. That's going to be, that's what they're going to be. But, yeah. That's what we got. So hopefully this, I think this turn went a little bit quicker than the last one. Could I do a second one? Oh, uh, John, yeah, this is uh, Sea Lion 1940. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out how to change the title when I when I'm streaming, but this is a Sea Lion 1940 from uh, John Taylor Software. It's one of his Panzer campaign games. I'm doing the uh, July Invasion uh, option, which is 187 turns, uh, and I'm on turn 36 right now. Uh, yeah, and this isn't a vassal game. This is this is just a straight up computer game, which uh, <laughs> although admittedly the graph the graphics are dated, but honestly you don't play too much graphics. You know, you're playing because good representation of a hex encounter board war game and you know grand campaign type thing uh so yeah not a vassal game but i think we're yeah we're i think we're done for now uh i gotta get some lunch made for the wife because surgery and got some errands around that around the my plan is to try to do one or two of these a day maybe even more i'm willing and I don't annoy my roommates and my wife too much. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and cut it here. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section. Next time. Hey, y'all!